Hey everybody and welcome back for another Let's Play of Dragon Ology Part 2. It has been a while since I've recorded this. Um, so, yeah. As always, let's get into it. Okay, let's um, continue on. I have made to blow up. You must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. Yes, I am. I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. Okay. Greetings, young man. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne. One of the mages summoned by the king. Pleased to meet you. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting besides the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You face the dark horn people. Strategies, yes. Not the best orcs, I have to speak of. I wonder, how much do you know about the connection between dark horn and the fade? What does the fade have to do with anything? Anytime your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That team transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the earth, where they became the first dogs home. And is that true? It may be an allegory meant to teach us that our own evil causes us human suffering. Or it may be true. He's as good an explanation as any for now. 
Don't you have any proper advice? Advice? Never. You young ones know all there is to know about the world anyway. Why would you need advice from an elder? But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Half the dogs are sick from dogs falling in blood. It's terrible. Welcome, young man. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spent my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, you would not get by on charity. You speak very strange. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Not eternally, no. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. How is someone made? Our forehead is branded with magic, which stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as far as I am aware. It sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. Perhaps they should try to Oh, the maid. I feel bad before you. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? What is enchanting? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic star, or the flame blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the tranquil to work with lyrium so. A true angel of the Lord. So what are they? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanence, given enough skill and name. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. I should go. Goodbye. What is it now? Have the Puri Wardens asked more than enough from the circle? I simply came to deliver a message from the revered mother, so may she desires your presence. What her reverence desires is of no concern to me. I am busy helping the Grey Wardens by the King's orders, I might add. Should I have asked her to write a note? Tell her I will not be harassed in this manner. Yes, I was harassing you by delivering a message. Your goodness does you no credit. Here I thought we were getting along so well. I was even going to name one of my children after you. 
the grumpy one. Enough, I will speak to the woman if I must. Get out of my way, you fool. You know, one good thing about the blight is how it brings people together. Sorry, what? Oh, nothing. Just trying to find the bright side to all this. Wait, we haven't met, have we? I don't suppose you happen to be another mage. We haven't met. You must be... Honestly. And that makes you Duncan's new recruit, I suppose. Glad to meet you. As the junior member of the Order, I will be accompanying you when you prepare for the joining. Pleased to meet you. My name is Joby Vinal. Right. That was the name. So I'm curious. Have you ever actually encountered Darkspawn before? Have you? When I fought my first one, I wasn't prepared for how monstrous it was. I can't say I'm looking forward to encountering another. Anyhow, whenever you're ready, let's get back to Duncan. I imagine he's eager to get things started. That argument I saw, what was that about? With the mage. The circle is here at the king's request, and the chantry doesn't like that one bit. They just love letting mages know how unwelcome they are. Which puts me in a bit of an awkward position. I was once a Templar. You were a mage hunter. Not that that's all Templars do, but yes, the Chantry raised me until Duncan recruited me six months ago. I'm sure the revered mother meant it as an insult, sending me as her messenger, and the mage picked right up on that. I never would have agreed to deliver it, but Duncan says we're all to cooperate and get along. Apparently they didn't get the same speech. You don't have accompany me, do you? Don't worry, I'll try not to embarrass you. What about that little two? Dabbit and Sir Jory are here in the camp. Have you met them? No, I haven't. Keep an eye out, maybe we'll see one of them. I'll look forward to travel with you. You do? Huh, that's a switch. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, lead on. Yes? You don't really have to come to you. Don't worry. I'll try not to embarrass you. Tell me a little about yourself. Uh, as I said, I was trained as a Templar before Duncan recruited me about six months ago. Chantry raised me. And becoming a Templar was a decision made for me a long time ago. Duncan saw I wasn't happy and figured my training against the mages could double the fight of the dance ball. Now, here I stand, a proud grey warden. The Grand Cleric wouldn't have let me go if Duncan never forced the issue. I'd always be grateful to him. You didn't want to join the, the charity? It just wasn't for me. I believe in the Maker well enough, but I never wanted to devote my life to the charity. You speak family of Duncan. I spent years in that charge with Duncan who resigned to my faith. Duncan was the first person who came what I wanted. He risked the lot of trouble with the Grand Cleric. Maybe Duncan thought you would be useful. Or maybe he just happened to be a good man. I have a few questions. What about him? The Great Warden? So I imagine. What would you like to know? What makes you so special? The Grey Wardens are warriors without equal. That form threatened to destroy the world four times over. Each time, the Grey Wardens led mankind to victory. Nobody knows more about Darkspawn, and nobody's better equipped to deal with them. You'll see. Trust me. So, the Knight's heroes? I don't know if I'd go that far. Duncan says the Grey Wardens do whatever is necessary to protect mankind from Darkspawn. That means some pretty extreme things. Whatever it takes to bring victory. Where are all the Grey Wardens now? The others are camped with the King's soldiers in the valley. 
King has given us a position of honor at the vanguard, despite our small numbers. I think Caleb is actually excited to ride into battle with us. Maybe he thinks that's what his father would have done. So the Great Wardens have the right to, to anyone? King Marek, Caelan's father, reaffirmed the power the Great Wardens were given during the flights. In practice, we can't conscript too often without hurting our cause. We were exiled from Ferelden once. Best not to let that happen again. I'm not sure I know anything about the Great Wardens. Well, let's see. Surely you've heard of White South's fortress? The Great Eyrie carved into the White Cliffs far off in the Anderfels? That's where the Grey Wardens once kept the Griffins. The Griffins died out, however, and our numbers have dwindled since the last flight. There's only a handful left in Ferelden. A few more in other nations. You want to ask me about something else? The this blight don't you? Of course. So what is the blight? Where do the dogs want to come from? You want the Chantry's version or the truth? They aren't the same thing. <laughs> they seldom are. What is the... According to the Chant of Light, the Maker imprisoned the old gods underground long ago as punishment for tricking mankind into worshipping them. The old gods still whispered to some men and taught them magic. These men became the Magisters of the Tevinter Empire. The Magisters used their gift to enter the Golden City, painting it and themselves. They were cast out by the Maker and became the first Darkspawn. They fled underground, bringing their taint to their gods. The tainted old gods were the archdemons who rose from their prisons and led the Darkspawn against the world. And the truth? The truth is, we don't really know. They come up from the ground, and that's as far as we've gotten. So, what were you talking about, the first flight? Yes, and it nearly wiped us out. When defeated, the Dark Spawn flee back underground and seek out another old god to taint, thus bringing another blight. So where is the Arc Demon? For this flight? We haven't seen it yet. People are beginning to think this is just an unusually large darkspawn raid without an archdemon to unify them. But seriously, the archdemon could be in the wilds or underground. It could be hiding. Just because it hasn't shown itself doesn't mean it isn't out there. Why not just kill the darkspawn when they underground? They've controlled the deep roads ever since they defeated the dwarven kingdoms. Even if we invaded, we can only chase them so far. What is an archdemon? The old gods were dragons, so the stories say. Big ones. Intelligent, even. The Tevinta Empire had big statues of them. Each dragon had a name and a place in the cosmos. It's all very intricate. The archdemons may not be the old gods, but they're definitely dragons. Why are so people so speak? The Grey Wardens killed so many Darkspawn by the end of the last flight. People decided they were gone for good. I have other questions about the flight. Of course. How do the Grey Wardens defeat the flight? We chop off the snake's head. It's the only way. According to texts, the most famous Grey Warden leader, Garatel, killed the Archdemon Underal in personal combat in the Battle of Aeus to end the last fight. Without the Archdemon to command them, the Darkspawn would be back on the ground. How did anyone know about this fight? The Grey Wardens keep watch. We feel the Darkspawn when they come. You'll understand after the joining, if you... Well, you'll understand. Not to mention, people start to notice when Darkspawn pour out of the wilds and taint everything around them. Just guess. Just how many Darkspawns are there? Thousands. Tens of thousands. They've had centuries to build up their numbers. That's all I want to know. You want to ask me about something else? Tell me about... Don't... 
Okay. Duncan is the leader of the Grey Wardens in Ferelden, which he would say doesn't mean much, as there aren't many of us here. Yet, beyond that, he's a good man, a good judge of character. I owe him a lot. What about you? What do you think of him? He seems kind of kind, man. If uh, I owe him as well, he saved me. That sounds familiar. He's done the best he can with what little he has. And that includes me, I guess. You want to ask me about something else? The joining ritual? I wish I could tell you more. Maybe ask me again after Duncan speaks to you about it. You want to ask me about something else? This upcoming battle? The one tomorrow. I'll tell you. It's Tamlo Game we should be looking to win it, not the king. Kaelin just wants his place in history. But Taylor is planning the strategy. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. I guess I should be thankful the king favours us great wardens. But they know who's king. How much will I be part to play? You know, that's a good question. The other Grey Wardens are riding into battle with the King. I don't know if you'll be with them. Why is, why is it happening here of all the places? We're at the edge of the Korkari Wilds. The eye of the White Storm, right where the Horde will be coming. Ostagar itself is an excellent defensive position. The Wilders were pushed back from here time and again in ancient days. What are the chances of success? I'm sure Tamla again has the battle planned to the last detail. Still, no blight has ever been defeated with so little cost. What if we fail? If we don't break the horde here, Duncan says it will spread until it engulfs all of Ferelden. Then it will take an alliance of nations to fight it. Which would be bad. Neither the king nor the Terran really seems to believe this is a real blight, however. That's all I want to know. You want to ask me about something else? Of course. You want to ask me about something else? Then let's get a move on, shall we? Hear the prayers of your sons and daughters. You found Alison, did you? Good. I assume you're ready to begin preparations. Assuming, of course, that you're quite finished riding out mages, Alison. What can I say? The revered mother ambushed. The way she wields the guilt, they just stick her in the army. She forced you to sass the maze, did she? We cannot afford to antagonize any person. We don't need to give anyone more ammunition against us. I apologize, though. I'll go collect it, we're missing. This is Sir Jory, the Knight of Mountain. And this here is Dagmar, a Fenomen from Denver. That's me. I'm a Fenomen. And this, of course, is the recruit that Duncan said he was bringing. I am Joel Binar. Please speak. Now then, since you're all here, we can begin. You four will be heading into the Kokari Wilds to perform two tasks. The first is to obtain three vials of dark spawn blood, one for each recruit. And what's the second task? There was once a Grey Warden archive in the wilds, abandoned long ago when we could no longer afford to maintain such remote outposts. It has recently come to our attention that some scrolls have been left behind, magically sealed to protect them. Alistair, I want you to retrieve these scrolls if you can. Find our, our chief and hurry the birds. What kind of scrolls are these? A little treatise, if you're curious. Promises of support made to the Grey Wardens long ago. They were once considered only formalities. 
with so many having forgotten their commitments to us, I suspect it may be a good idea to have something to remind them with. Shut up, Melty! And what if they no longer live? It's possible the scrolls may have been destroyed or even stolen, though the seal's magic should have protected them. Only a Grey Warden can break such a seal. I don't understand. Why leave such things in a ruin if they're so valuable? It was assumed that we would someday return. A great many things were assumed but have not held true. Is this part of the our joining too? No, but the effort must be made. I have every confidence you are up to the task. How how will we find this opportunity? It will be an overgrown moment by now, but the sea chest should remain intact. Alistair will die from the area you need to search. Stop, boy! Watch over your charges, Alistair. Return quickly and safely. We will. Then may the Maker watch over your path. I will see you when you return. Excuse me, I must get the hounds ready for battle. Oh, those are sick, dark spawn blood. Stop me! to begin scouting. I'll send word if we find anything amiss. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. We need to get down to What are you, Nate? You haven't brought more instructions from the Tan, I hope. More instructions? Tan Logan has changed our scouting route a dozen times. If you're not from the Tan, what do you want? Listen. Can I ask you something? Right, be quick. Why have you made your blood? Maybe you sent to distinguish us from our enemies. But the blood of battle can confuse them. So we paint ourselves with cats, which overpowers the blood, and also paint our helms so they know we are the same. What are you praying for? To scout the wilds and watch the progression of the dark spawn horde. With luck, we'll find and slaughter many stragglers. The hunt will be good if my hell survives the blood of his prey. If he dies, I shall mourn tonight. Survive the blood? What do you mean? Darkspawn blood is poisonous, and not always fatal. Those who survive are immune to its effects. The wardens say that tainted blood drives even the survivors mad eventually. But not today. Today, we hunt and we kill. Wouldn't it be the smarter to leave your dogs behind? They fight on our side. We don't fret over their safety as if they were children. I should be going. Oh, thanks. There is something to be done, and I'll not be kept from it. Hey, I've told you all our business in the wilds. The gate's open for you. Just be careful out there. Even a Grey Warden won't be safe in the forest tonight.
that Granny wouldn't. Well, it's not half as dead as he looks, is he? My scouting band was attacked by Darkspawn. They came out of the ground. Please help me. I've got to return to camp. I've tried Baron Chamber, but please. I have bandages in my pack. Thank you. Oh, I. Did you hear? An entire patrol of seasoned men killed by Darkspawn. Calm down, Sir Jory. We'll be fine if we're careful. Those soldiers were careful, and they were still overwhelmed. How many Darkspawn can the four of us slay? A dozen? A hundred? There's an entire army in these forests. There are Darkspawn about, but we're in no danger of walking into the bulk of the port. How do you know? I'm not a coward, but this is foolish and reckless. We should go back. Overcoming these dangers is the part of our test. That's true. Know this. All Grey Wardens can sense Darkspawn. Whatever they're coming, I guarantee they won't take us by surprise. That's why I'm here. You see, Sir Knight, we might die. But we'll be warned about it first. That is reassuring. That doesn't mean I'm here to make this easy, however. So let's get a move on. said this flower could help dogs that get sick from biting darkspawn. At any rate, he was offering a reward if someone went into the wilds and brought him one. You might want to think about it, is all.
we are eight in this text. So we need to go up No, I am going to go that way right now. Um, I'd just like to explore around everywhere before we move the... Well, well, what have we here? Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, coming to these dark spawn filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Intruder, and just how are these your wilds? Where did you come from? Stay back. Do I appear a stalking predator ready to leap upon her find? There is no need to fear me. I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Don't answer. She looks chastened, and that means others may be nearby. You fear barbarians that swoop down upon you. Yes. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wild. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there, handsome lad. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. Let us be civilized.
I am Joe Banana, a pleasure to meet you. Well, that is a proper civil greeting, even here in the wild. You may call me Morrigan. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. Then you removed them. Was my mother in fact? Your mother? Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps. Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. It's not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this Morrigan son of a I want an honest honor. Are you a witch of the world? Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land of the Chantry. If you wish to tell your Chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. Why are you interested? Help. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you also mistrustful? Tell us more about your mom first. She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you were here. Come, see for yourself. I'll say we. Yo. She'll put us all in a pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'll be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mama. I bring before you four grey wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Dareth. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. And what of you? Do you possess a different viewpoint? Or do you believe as the others do? I believe you have something that we needed. We did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True, they came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You? Yep. Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. How do you know all this? Do I? Perhaps I am simply an old woman with a penchant for mold departments. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me.
Bridget, are you one of the great ones that went into the wild? Did you happen to see any white flowers? Yes, in fact, I have one. They've never mentioned you offering a reward. I don't know for sure that the flower will aid my poor hounds, but it's worth trying. I have, uh, let's say, 20 silver to offer as a reward for it. Um, that should be fine. Thank you for your assistance, then. Perhaps we won't lose as many hounds as I'd feared. successful. We have it. Good. I've had the circle mages preparing. With the blood you've retrieved, we can begin the journey immediately. Maybe we should tell you about what we have There was a woman in the tower and her mother had scrolls. They were both very odd. Were they wilder folk? I don't think so. They might be apostates. Mages hiding from the chantry. I know you were once a Templar, Alistair, but champion business is not ours. We have the scrolls. Let us focus on the joining. Now we you tell us what the script is from. And what if we have the death? Let me be very clear on that point. You are not volunteers. Whether you were conscripted or recruited, you were chosen because you were needed. There is no turning back now. You must gather your courage for what comes next. Courage? How much danger are we in? I will not lie. We Grey Wardens pay a heavy price to become what we are. Fate may decree that you pay your price now rather than later. Is that why the journey is so secret? If only such secrecy were unnecessary and all understood the necessity of such sacrifice. Sadly, that would never be so. Let's go then. I'm anxious to see this joining now. I agree. Let's have it done. Then let us begin. Alistair, take them to the old temple. The more I hear about this joining, the less I like it. Are you blubbering again? Why all these damn tests? Have I not earned my place? Maybe it's tradition. Maybe they're just trying to annoy you. Calm down, there's nothing we can do about it. I only know that my wife is in high heaven with a child on the way. If they had warned me, it just doesn't seem fair. Would you have come if they warned you? Maybe that's why they don't. The wardens do what they must, right? Including sacrificing us. I'd sacrifice a lot more if I knew it would end the blight. Will you both shut up? Yes, yeah, sir, knight. Try not to wet your trousers until the ritual starts. I've just never faced a foe I could not engage with my blade. At last, we come to the joining. The Grey Wardens were founded during the First Blight, when humanity stood on the verge of annihilation. So it was that the first Grey Wardens drank of dark swamp blood and mastered their taint. We're going to drink the blood of those... those creatures? As the first Grey Wardens did before us, as we did before you. This is the source of our power and our victory. Those who survive the joining become immune to the taint. We can sense it in the dark spawn and use it to slay the archdemon. Those who survive? And if we're not sure about this? Since the beginning, the Grey Wardens have been charged with finding those who are strong enough to attempt the joining and recruiting them into our ranks for the good of all. Not all who drink the blood will survive, and those who do are forever changed. This is why the joining is a secret. It is the price we pay. We speak only a few words prior to the joining, but these words have been said since the first. Alistair, if you would. Join us, brothers and sisters. Join us in the shadows where we stand vigilant. Join us as we carry the duty that cannot be forsworn. 
and should you perish, know that your sacrifice will not be forgotten, and that one day we shall join you. Gabbeth, step forward. Two more deaths. In my joining, only one of us died, but it was horrible. I'm glad at least one of you made it through. How do you feel? I still cannot believe that you killed the surgeon. Jory was warned that there was no turning back, as were you all. When he went for his blade, however, he left me no choice. It brought me no pleasure to end his life. The blight demands sacrifices from us all. Thankfully, you stand here as proof they are not all made in vain. Did you have dreams? I had terrible dreams after my joining. Such dreams come when you begin to sense the dark spot, as we all do. That and many other things can be explained in the months to come. Before I forget, there is one last part to your joining. We take some of that blood and put it in the pendant. Something to remind us of those who didn't make it this far. Take some time. When you're ready, I'd like you to accompany me to a meeting with the king. What kind of meeting? The king is discussing strategy for the upcoming battle. I am not sure why he is requesting your presence. The meeting is to the west, down the stairs. Please attend as soon as you're able. All right. This is where I'm gonna leave it. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.